Hello lovelies. So today is Thursday, so I'm a little late with my video, but I have something exciting happening this week. It's retreat day, people. So I'm off to the Sunshine Coast today for a fantastic scrapbook retreat. It's my first ever retreat. I've never been on one. So when it comes to packing, um, I'm a little new to this. So I thought I would show you what I've got, what I plan to get, and um, see how we go. Um, yeah, I've, I've never been on a retreat before. I've never been away for a th actually I don't even remember last time I went away for three days by myself it's a good question so I've dropped the boys off at school my poor babies um, two boys with autism and our changing routine doesn't go very well I prepared them best I could but you know they were still sad of course they're gonna be sad they're gonna miss mummy but I do have a surprise for them. I'm making cupcakes before I go so I'll have them for afternoon tea when they get home but also um, Thanks to EB Games now does Afterpay, just so you know. Um, I afterpaid some games that I was going to uh, give them for Christmas, but I thought seeing as they're having a boys weekend, um, I might give them to them today. So they each got a game, Daddy and the two boys. And uh, so I'm going to leave them on their beds with a little note from Mummy. So when they get home this afternoon, it'll be a nice little surprise for them. So I think they're gonna really enjoy that. I'll show you. So I'll show you. So. Let me turn the camera around. Uh, I've got FIFA for the monkey and I've got a little card that I've written for all of them. Because, you know, the joys of Project Life cards. Daddy's got one too, hubby. So hubby's got his as well. And then... Koopy, my big boy, uh, got Lego Incredibles. So, they're all on their beds, uh, waiting for them to come home. So I've dropped them off at school, uh, my sister's going to pick them up and then Matt will pick them up when he finishes work. But then they've got touch training, so they'll be home probably about, about 6 o'clock tonight. So I'll get them to uh, FaceTime me when they get home so I can tell them that I've got surprises for them. Because they never go to their room straight away. <laughs> the first thing they'll do is dump their bags and everything and probably get food because they are boys. So then um, I'll get Matt to ring me and then, yeah, they can see their surprises. But as for me, I have to pack. <laughs> so I packed my clothes last night, so my suitcase is packed under all of that. I'll show you the best thing I ever bought. So I was looking for some kind of desk caddy. I have two, but I wanted something different. Check out what I got. So this is actually a nappy caddy, $15 from Kmart, and I'm in love with it. And I love it so much because it's got like really big gaps and you've seen my desk. I have these tubs everywhere and this, these two are my most used tools. Literally, I picked the whole thing up and just put it in. My paintbrush just fell, which is why I won't come back in. But yeah, I can fit two of them straight in, just as is. I don't have to go through my pens or anything. I just, yeah, picked up the whole thing and stuck it in and on this side I've got my adhesive, my gesso, my water bottle, my heat gun, my glasses that I never wear so anyone watching this going to retreat if I'm not wearing my glasses please remind me it'll save me a migraine later but like I was saying um, I've got my paint pens on this side it's got these cute little thingies over here oh, I'll turn it around. so I've got my tiny toucher which I need staples for but I remember that um, my paint pens, my heat gun, adhesive so yeah, pretty, um, $15. It's a nappy caddy. Look it up if you're interested. And it's really solid and got really tough wool, so it doesn't collapse in on itself. Like, it doesn't need stuff in it to stand up right. And I'm just going to plonk that whole thing on my desk. How cool is that? So, I love that. And then over here, got my suitcase, got my drinks. So, I've decided to take my Raskog. Now, I'm going to glad wrap the whole thing and strap it into my boot. So... So far down here, I've got my paints, uh, a collection of paints, a selection, sorry, of paints, um, my, some of my mists, and I've got my trimmer, and I've also got a um, water holdy thingy, you know what I mean, thing you put your paintbrushes in. <laughs> um, on here, I've got my journal, and I've got a collection of art journals. This one's almost full, so I've got this one as well, and then I've got just a little one. My ink pad, oh, best thing I ever bought off um, someone on... 
a Facebook group. Big wooden typewriter stamps. Awesome. Love them. And then here I've just got some stickers, uh, phrase stickers, sticker books, and then a collection of stamps. Oh, some of my um, enamel dots. And then a collection of stamps if I decide to art journal. I am by no way done yet. Um, I've got to go through and just see what else I need. Up here, because I can't stack it too high to stash it in my boot, I've just got my watercolors, wet ones, paper towel, my apron. Anyone that sees this, the dessert retreat, please remind me to wear my apron. If you haven't noticed, I tend to love white singlets. Don't ask me why. I love singlets because it's so hot, but I like to wear white. Even this one, you'll see. Paint. Paint everywhere. Please, remind me to wear my apron. I beg you. Here, I've got uh, a scrap trolley thingo. And in it, I have got some uh, Flutterby stuff because I want to use that. Go to the minute. So I've got an album that has in it my cardstock. Very important. Don't forget cardstock. I've got a bunch of Project Life um, uh, pages and some layouts and I've got my niece's album that's full of photos that I can do for her as well and you may have heard in the past I've mentioned that I um, keep all my scrapbook collections together mostly papers, embellishments, stickers, all those kind of things I tend to keep them in bags together so what I've done is I've grabbed a couple of those collections and, st and I'm taking those with me so that's going to be um, my pattern papers, my ephemera, the things that I'm going to use. Hopefully I'll actually use up some of my stash. So in here I've got um, a lot of boy collections actually. I think the only, I don't even have a girl collection, I've just got bits and pieces of some girl stuff but I am going to get one of my Coco Vanilla ones because I know my sister liked that. And I've got a fair few boy collections. Oh no, I've got this one for me. So this is the new Amy Tan. Um, I've got Oh, and Bohemian Dreams from Kaiser Clark. That's an old one. But I love it. So I'm thinking of using that. Um, oh yeah, the Flutterby's uh, We Run the World. So I've got, I've got to think, I think I have a good selection of stuff. I think I've got a good selection of kits and things. So I just hope I've got enough photos and things to do. So then down here, I'm taking the cling wrap so I can rewrap my Rascog. So, sorry about that. So down here, I have... Um, two tubs. So one has my stencils in it. I have to take those because I'm taking my art journal. And because it's in a tub, that's the good thing about it being in a tub. I can just take the tub. This is by no means all of my stencils. I have another folder there. But, um, yeah. Not going to take that one. <laughs> I'm just going to... I tend to use these most. I'm going to take these. And then this is an old kit because we know how much I love to use kits on our Project Live. And I still haven't used this one yet so I'm taking this so it gives me a good variety of stuff now like I was saying I am by no means done um, I need to make sure I have everything so I'm just going to go through again and uh, before I load in the car and see what I might need what I've forgotten I know I need thickers um, yeah, I'm thinking of taking my gel plate. What do you think? Yes or no? I, I don't know about that one. When I tend to get my gel plate out, I tend to go nuts and do a lot and I make a bit of a mess. So I don't know. I think I'm leaning towards more yes. Yesterday I said no, I won't take it. But now I'm wondering, do I have enough photos to scrap? Do I have enough to do? Because it's Thursday... Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday after, till our Sunday afternoon. So it's a fairly decent amount of time. So I thought maybe I might, um, yeah, I might take my jewel plate. I'm also thinking I might sort out some more Project Life because I think I've got up to week 23 and I've done week 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So what's that, eight? Don't laugh at me for counting on my hands. I think it's like eight weeks and then a whole bunch of layouts. So... I might sort out some more and put them on a USB so worst comes to worst I can find somewhere that prints photos up there and go get some more if I feel like it but we know how slow I am when it comes to project life so you never know. You never know this might be what I need to help me catch up. Maybe I should take my computer. Mm. Might be. Maybe I should. I'll think about it. So I'm gonna get packing and yeah wish me luck. So I'm packed I think. I hope. If I've forgotten anything it's just not coming along. <laughs> so, um, you want to see? So this is my car, all packed up. So, I've got my Rascog bungee strapped into the headrest. 
I've got my suitcase, because I need clothes, obviously. My two tubs, my uh, mat, and my scrap bag. So, that's everything. This is not going to stay here. I'm going to put this in the front because I, now on my luck it'll fall halfway on the trip. And I want to try and keep this flat. <laughs> it's not going to go well, is it? I'm going to leave it there. Alright. So, yes. All packed. Ready for a treat. I've got my pillow. Now, <laughs> I'm, I'm fussy with my pillow. I just, I have to have my pillow. So I'm shoving this in the boot. And Lisa might stop some stuff from falling, just in case. You never know. And then I'm all done. That's it, I'm all done. So I'm going to uh, post this video before I go. And then hopefully, maybe, I think I might have a video saved that I can put up for you over the weekend. And then I'll be back Sunday afternoon, probably. And hopefully, either then or Monday, whenever, I can um, show you a video of what I did. Hopefully I get some stuff done. So, thanks for watching. Come on back later in the week to see what I actually get done at retreat. Bye for now.